Hey FlossTube, it's Katie the Stash Queen coming to you on this Monday, January the 8th. I am getting a little bit of a late start today. I had a doctor's appointment this morning and officially got diagnosed with fibromyalgia, among other things. Um, and then I had a sick kid home today and so much stuff to organize that I didn't get a chance to organize in advance like I've been trying to, but I'm here. It's a video. It's a week at, since my last video. Anyway, thank you all for the wonderful comments welcoming me back to more frequent updates. It was really, it made me smile, all of the messages in the comments. Um, I did get a lot of questions and I did a lot of stitching, so I'm just going to jump on in and get started. All right, I will say quite a few of the questions had to do with death by cross stitch. <laughs> Shocker. All right. Um, Sinestra Two Smiles said, where did you get that huge pack of beads from, please? I got them from Fire Mountain Gems. Um, that's where I was able to get most of my Chatelaine beads. So I went there first and got it there without any problem. Um, let's see here. Uh, Cassandra Martinez asked two questions on two different videos. From my finished video, she asked, I love this song, what is it? It's Another Day in the Sun from the musical La La Land. Um, I love that show or that movie hate the ending love the movie and then on my previous video I said question for you while i know you love all your whips and starts is there any one whip and or start you're most excited about this year um i'm really excited about guardians of notre dame um which i started this past week by ingleside imaginarium that's going to be fun i'm really excited about the legendary creatures alphabet from clouds factory that starts up this week um whip wise i would probably say my chatelaines um, and then just working in general on all of the whips, um, that are going to come up because I would love it if I could end 2018 officially saying that, yes, I worked on every single one of my whips at least for 18 minutes, because that's what I decided this week to do. And I'll get more into that later. Um, I would be thrilled with that. So, um, Julicia said, what do you use to cut perforated plastic? It doesn't seem like something you'd subject quote, good scissors to. I don't subject good scissors to it. I use the big old Fiskars general scissors and these work just fine for the perforated plastic. I use these for perforated paper for the major outline too. I will use my nicer scissors um, that are a little bit more delicate and sharp for the very, very close up, especially when it's between stitch spots for perforated paper, but I will use these for my perforated plastic. Um, Melinda Harris asked, Katie, this may have been asked and answered before, but how do you store your specialty threads? Could you show that in a video? Thanks. I have a video previously where I did my thread storage, um, cabinet that I had. I have since outgrown that. Um, I'm in the process of converting over to a new system of organizing my threads, which is on these round, um, rings and then buy different brands. So this is the Crescent Colors Classic Color Works, and then I put them in ABC order. So, and I'm going to hang them around my room so I can see, like, here's one of Gentle Arts, all the pretties. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them that I've already, they're all in boxes over here next to me, that's why. Like, here's some silks for you. Here's, let's see, this is some dinky dyes, you know? So I'm using these rings and I'm gonna hang them around my room. Um, the ones that won't hang easily will stay in the storage, but it should condense it down. So like my jottery and my mose um, should condense down and save me a lot of space and then I can use that for other storage as well. Um, Christine at Every Stitch of Pleasure uh, asked, are you confident that the four or five skeins of the floss will really be enough for death by cross stitch? It says it's a special floss and discontinued. I'm wondering how disastrous it might be if you ran out. I doubt it's going to be enough, quite honestly, but it is a blue and purple combo that I am not overly concerned um, that I can find. I, I'm pretty confident I can find a... Um, a match or a similar one in my stash that I can use. Um, and since you're not going to, I mean, there's some back stitching in death by cross stitch, but it's mainly focusing on the beads. As long as it's a blue or purple combo, I'm confident that I can use that to attach the beads and I'll be okay. 
Let's see, Mondot Stitches asked, why are you using size 15 beads rather than size 11 delicas on Death by Cross Stitch? Do you think they will fit better on your fabric? I am changing a different pattern to beads on 32 count also, and I'm wondering what size beads to order. 15 are smaller than the 11. Um, it's just like with fabric, how the higher you go, the smaller the fabric, or the smaller the result. Um, I will say I was going to do this one over one, and I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, I think that's going to be a little bit much space wise, so I may, I'm going to reevaluate. I've been letting it sit and think, and I'm going to think about it a little more. I may convert it to be one over one on um, 28 count, and that might give me a little bit more uh, space, but size 15 beads are smaller than size 11. And my Yuki is similar to Delica, um, same sort of uniform, much more uniform than Mill Hill. Um, Christy Rice asked, are you planning to stitch the Death by Cross Stitch in hand to avoid crushing the beads in the hoop? My intention, and I say intention and stress intention, is to do as much of it in the hoop as I can and then fill in the spaces where I'm not comfortable with the hoop to, um, change or to like close the gaps, uh, by hand. Um, we'll see how that goes. But that is my intention at this time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Carolina asked, uh, uh, will you attach the beads for Death by Cross Stitch with a half or a full stitch? I am doing a full stitch so I can have them going um, vertically as opposed to on the diagonal. Let's see. Uh, Rita Marie says, Death by Cross Stitch and beads, wow, but do you have a plan for the back stitching? I'm just going to use the thread that I am using to attach the beads for the back stitching so it'll be consistent. Uh, Brenda Greer asked, how many strands do you use when stitching on perforated paper? I personally use three. That's what most Mill Hill kits call for. Um, so I stick with that when I work on other perforated paper projects. Um, some people are okay with the coverage with two strands. I personally prefer three. And then Carrie Babbitt said, where did you find your Mayuki beads? Like I said at the beginning, Fire Mountain Gems. I will put a link to them below. Alrighty. So those are all of my questions for this week. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask them below and I will get to them next week. All right, this past week I dove in head first and got a ton more stitching than in this past week than I have in the last like two months, seriously. It was great, it was wonderful, I had a blast. January is always insane because of all the new year, new start <laughs> pieces. Same will be with Stitch Mania in May, but I'm having a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I started three of my annual stitch alongs, but they were new starts this week. So I'll just get to them with the new starts, but they'll hold over for next week. Um, all right. Speaking of death by cross stitch, I have it as an electronic pattern. It was given to me as um, a rack through Long Dog's um, website. So, all right, here's the start, which doesn't look like much, but that's about 30 minutes of playing and getting it to work. It is very tight together. Um, so I am not sure yet if I am going to keep it on 32 count or go up to 28 to give me a little bit more wiggle room. But it started. And it's not too far that if I decide to redo it, I can do it. Not a big deal. And then my minder is a Got Beads Needle Minder from uh, No Name Needle Minders. So I'm going to simmer on that a little bit more and then decide what I'm going to do on it. I will say, um, since I mentioned it with Death by Cross Stitch, um, the way I worked it out this week was every new start got 30 minutes, every whip got uh, 18 for 2018. Um, and then like my annual cells that I started and worked on multiple days, they got 30 minutes on their start day and then 18 minutes after that. All right, next is one of my, uh, annual stitch alongs, which is, I have an electronic pattern. It's the, uh, Cross Stitcher Magazine 2018 stitch along. And I am doing this on 32 Belfast and Avalon from Under the Sea Fabrics. Now it's a little bit hard to see that right now, but when the other colors fill in around it, it won't be problem but that's my start on January and my minder is a little crown needle minder from no name needle minders and this is the whole piece of fabric now it's designed to just be 
January through, through December straight down. I'm not doing it that way. I'm going to do them across and have it as a little bit of a shorter piece. But this will stick with me and I'll keep working on it this week. Then uh, the third one that I started was for Tour Day Designers and that was Which Way by Glendon Place. And this is from uh, the Just Cross Stitch October 2014. And I am doing this, go on, see up there, on 28 Lugana in Butterscotch Cookies from uh, Hand Eye Fabrics by Stephanie that I got from a Stitchy Box. And there's where I got started on her. And my minder is a Book of Spells Needle Minder from Justine Dean Lovanis. Next is another electronic pattern, um, and the one I am so enjoying so far. It's Guardians of Notre Dame by Ingleside Imaginarium. I went ahead, I'm doing this on um, the 32 Belfast and Cosmos and Under the Sea fabrics, and there is the start on the frame in the middle. I'm going to frame around to get to the January frame. And then once I finish the January gargoyle, I will go back and work on the frame and through till February. Um, my minder's a little Paris needle minder from uh, No Name Needle Minders. I will say, I've told a couple people already, mainly Brittany, <laughs> since it's her design, um, I have figured out a way that I'm going to bling this one up too, just like I am with her birthstone dragons. I'm excited. Stay tuned. Then the next one that I started is the Spring Baby Girl Sunshine Line by Brooks Books. This is a gift, so it's going to stay out with me to work on. And it's just being done on perforated paper. And there's the start on one of the little dresses. And my minder's a little pink crown needle minder from Nifty Needle Manny's. Then the next one was my start for the Princess Sal this week. It is Beauty and the Beast 2017 by Tilton Crafts. And I am doing this uh, one over one full cross on 32 count white jubilin. There is blue fuzz on it because I got a new blanket for Christmas that I usually have on my legs and it's one of those that sheds right now. So ignore the blue fuzz, but there's one over one. That's a full page across to start this. Yay! And my minder is the Pinup Bell Needle Minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. Then the next one was one of my Halloween All Year Round starts for this week. It was Annie the Autumn Witch by Brooks Books. I forgot until I started this one and spring ba the Spring Baby Girl Sunshine Line how much I enjoy working on these perforated paper projects. Perforated paper projects, perforated paper projects. And here it is on perforated paper. That's the start of her. And my minder is a little pumpkin love needle minder from No Name Needle Minders. Then the other, then I had one other start for um, Halloween all year round, which is also one of my annual stitch alongs. It's an electronic pattern. It's the Another Year Creeps by Stitch Along from Stitchy Box and Ink Circles. And I am doing this on 32 Belfast and Dreamsical from Under the Sea Fabrics. And here's where I got started on the border to start for January. And my minder is um, this pretty needle minder that I got from the Halloween Countdown box from Stitchy Box last year. So I'm going to do the January border, fill in January's block, and then continue on the border. This is a fun one to be working on. My ninth new start for this past week was my uh, 1550 United States, home state, Texas, born and raised. So God bless Texas by My Big Toe Designs. And I am doing this on a 32 count clay linen. And here is where I got started. Um, all of the colors in this piece are substituted out because I forgot to buy all of the weeks and gassed and whatnot that I needed for this one. So I just went through my stash of weeks and gassed and classic color works and everything else and pulled some other stuff. So that's the top of the house so far. And there's my Texas needle minder from No Name Needle Minders. 
And then my last new start for the week. Yes, 10 new starts. I won't have 10 this week. <laughs> my last new start for this week. Um, sorry, I'm gonna get the little air out of here. Uh, was the Arctic Santa by Sandra Cozzolino for Wilmer Crafts. And here's where it is at this point. And I have a little blingy needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. I can tell, um, just comparing the way it feels stitchy wise from this past year to this year, that doing all of the starts and working the way I'm doing this is what my stitchy bug desperately needed. So I'm not saying on January 8th that there will be a year of starts in 2019, but I'm not ruling it out yet. All right, other Mania sales we had this week on the 5th. We had full coverage on the 5th, and I worked on Beauty and the Beast Falling in Love from the Disney Dreams Collection. And here is where my update. I mainly worked on the greens over here. And my minder is a Bell Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then the next one um, is the temperature stitch along that I am doing this year. Um, I'll put a link to the pattern below. Uh, I only have days one through six or one through seven. No, one through six because I started this on the second and I'm one day behind and I haven't done today's yet. So um, I'm doing this one over one on 32 count white Joblin. And you see, this is the high temperatures. Started off really cold and then got up to the 60s. And these are the low temperatures. And my minders from Brenda's Minders and more. But I'm going to do one, uh, one high temperature, one low temperature, and then do them back to back. I love how they're already so different. <laughs> we, we got down to the 20s and then up to the 60s already in six days in Texas in 2018. Um, the lows kind of stayed pretty consistent, except I think we bumped up yesterday. So, But I'm enjoying it so far. Yes, I keep the hoop on because this is a, it's almost too small for this hoop and this is my smallest hoop. So I just leave the hoop on whatever side I did last the previous day and then move in. Yesterday I did my low temperatures last. Then the next one is my one stitch a day, which I'm calling my freeform embroidery experiment diary, essentially. Um, still not sure about this. I'm a little bit nervous about it, um, but I'm working on it. So, so far this this week, I have a 2018 for the 2018, the new year. The second I did these uh, Algerian Islet snowflakes because of the freezing cold temperatures. On the third up there, I did a hashtag um, for all the social media that I was working on that day. The fourth, I did a one plus one for the kids going back to school. That was on Thursday. Friday, I did this little um, cardboard box that says NJ in it for New Jersey because my good friend from New Jersey sent me a care package. Saturday, um, I had to get some blood drawn, so there are some Lazy Daisy blood drops. And then yesterday, I did Time's Up from the Golden Globes and the entire movement. And my minder is I Am A Grim from um, Delicious Threads. So, I'm kind of playing with it, see how it, what it goes with. I like the idea of doing just something related to the day. I'm not a drawing artist, um, so it's kind of just, we'll see what how it goes. It's fun though, I enjoy it. I like figuring out something with my imagination. It's just, it's new, so it's kind of, you know, hard to deal with. Um, then we start, I mentioned last week, and I'll have a link to the comment in the comments below, um, about heart drops that started and it's already exploded as far as members go. We now have a finders page. It's awesome. Um, I did start and finish three. So here's my first three finishes for the hundred finishes for 2018. Um, these are being done on 14 count perforated plastic in Havana by Karen Water Lilies, which I got from Stitchy Box. So yes three different hearts and I'll do this one so you can see them. 
I think this one is my favorite so far. So I'm going to fill this up before I cut them out because it's easier with the smaller plastic piece that I have to fill it up before cutting it out. It's a lot of fun. Come join us. It's a great cause. People are already starting to leave them out. I will be so excited when we get our first um, finder check-in. That's what I'm really looking forward to. And Liz from Stitchy Box um, joined in is advertised it from Stitchy Box. Thanks, Liz. Um, but she was also cool enough to make a QR code for scanning that will link to the finders page. So it's really easy now if you want to make them and figure out a way to um, give the information to go to the finders page. You can just, on a sticker, you can print out just the QR code and if people scan it, it'll bring them to the finders page. It's cool. Um, I have not, I've started rereading Sense and Sensibility. I have not, um, worked on that piece this week so uh there were a few things that had a didn't make the cut but i did work on all 19 whips 19. all right first one was not one that was from the annual the birthday part that i told you about but it is an electronic pattern it's the sarah davis Clonmel 1824 reproduction sampler by stitchy box and i worked on this road it added some letters I always work on this the first of the month. And then my minder is my crown needle minder from No Name Needle Minders. Sorry, my back is really bothering me. Then I worked on my Tuscany Town Mandala by Chatelaine. It's a 2016 start. And I am doing this on 32 Lugana in Chime from Picture This Plus. And I worked on some more of the black and then this um, yellow or yellow green color up at the top. And my minder is from Minding My Minders. And the next one. I am also really liking how this is set up because I'm not limited to one area of the alphabet, which while I love all my pieces, I like being able to jump everywhere. The next one's an electronic pattern. It's the Birthstone Dragons um, by Ingleside Imaginarium. Uh, there's the Sal from last year. I worked on the border down here for um, July's dragon when it gets to it. There's my pretty bling. It is not the bling that I'm doing for Guardians. I'm not adding gemstones like this um, because it's a stained glass window and that doesn't really work for stained glass windows. So there will be sparkle and shine. And if you know what, the re what I'm doing, don't tell anyone. The next one, I don't have a picture because it's the Wherefore Art Thou by Nora Corbett, which came in the three parts without a finished picture. But I am doing this on 32 Joban and Vampiric from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I got some more of the stone worked on this time. And my minder is Little Romeo and Juliet from Nifty Needle Nannies. So many piles over here people it's crazy then the next one was my wedding sampler by carolyn manning and i am doing this one on 14 count ada in crystal fresco from picture this plus and i worked on more of the green up here in this corner and my minder is come what may and love it from no name needle minders Then the next one was my Miss New Year's Fairy by Mirabilia. And I am doing this one on 32 Joblin in Hocus Pocus from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. So I worked more moving up on her dress. And my minder's little Happy New Year Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. That's six. 
The next one is an electronic pattern. It's the Under the Sea Stitch Along from Doreen Jones and Lakeside Needlecraft. And I am doing this on the 32 count even weave in Under the Sea by Fabric Flair for Lakeside Needlecraft. And I'm using flosses from Jottery Designs, so I worked more on the little octopus guy. Itchy nose. My minder is my starfish needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. Next, I worked on Be Mary from Mill Hill. And here is where I got to on it. A little better. I have said it before many, many times. It's amazing what you can accomplish in just a few minutes. 18 minutes seems like a good time for me this year. Then the next one is also from Mill Hill. It is the Dove Santa by Sandra Cozzolino from Mill Hill. And here's where I got on him. I did his face and started working down his clothes. And my minder is from Brenda's Minders and More. Next. Angel of Compassion by Heaven and Earth Designs, a.k.a. So Much Cry Neck. And I am doing this on an 18 count off-white Ada. And yes, there is so much cry neck. But I added, I came down here some, and then um, also filled in some more of these last rows down here. And my minder's little weeping angel baby needle minder from Minding My Minders. Remember, this is only page one. There is so much crinic in this. Then my 11th whip was an electronic pattern. It's the 12 Days of Christmas from Satsuma Street, and I am doing this on 32 Joblin in Spring Grass from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I'm working on the borders. So, finished one, went up, went down. My minder's a little Grinch needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. Then we have the American Flag Quilt Sampler by Rosewood Manor, a crowd favorite. And this is being done on a, a 28 count off-white even weave. I need to refill one of my... And I did more of the blue around Virginia and ran out of it. So I need to go check my stash before I finish and go back downstairs. So here's where we are at this point. Take that off while... I have it out. So I will get that when I'm done with the video. Next came from Joan Elliott's Fairy Enchantment book. I have a couple in here today. And it was Fairy Queen by Joan Elliott. And I am doing this on 32 Belfast in Dappled Hollow from Under the Sea Fabrics. And here's where I am. Got a little bit more added in on her skirt there. And my minder is from Nifty Needle Nannies. Next, I worked on My Christmas Island Santa by Sandra Cozzolino from Mill Hill. Here's where I got to on him. More in his little Hawaiian shorts. And my minder's little M&M &M needle miner from Gina's Unique Boutique. Scroll down here. Here. 
Next, I worked on A Mother's Love from Lila's Studio. And this one is being done on 40 count white Newcastle linen. One over two. Worked more on that bird down there. And my minders, every mother is a working mother from No Name Needle Minders. As a mother who has worked both outside of the home and been a stay-at-home mom. That's a very true sentiment. That's 15. Got four more whips left. Okay. <sighs> Next, from the 2013 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue, was Ethereal Illumination number two, which is this one right here by Summer House Stitch Works. And I am doing this one on 28 count white even weave. And here's where I am. On them now. And my minder is a little blingy needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Ugh. Why is it that itchy nose? I swear. It's a real thing. Next was my Tuscan greeting by Dimensions. Here's where I got to. I finished the white in the clouds, and then I'm working on finishing these little buildings. And then besides some text that goes down here, um, this top part will be done. Or not text, um, backstitching and French knots. Ugh. Then the next one. Um, is the Gingerbread Village series by Country Cottage Needleworks, and I'm working first on number one. I'm doing it all as one piece. And I'm doing that on 32 Joblin and Toasted Almond from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. You'll notice that the holly leaves don't go all the way over to number one. That's because when I'd started this for a year of starts, I was starting each month as a separate start, and I only got to the second month, and I had a leftover floss so I just took that as far as it went, and then I went back to one and started working on the roof of the house. And I have my little button holder from um, No Name Needle Minders and a Christmas Tree Needle Miter from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then the last of my whips. For this week. is my Captain Santa by Sandra Cozzolina from Mill Hill. And here is where he is at this point. More on his coat. And I have my hooked needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. So that is what I worked on this past week. Um, I have not finished those five or worked on any of those five that I mentioned for my hundred finishes in 2018. Um, my goal is to get to them this week. I did not work on my just married sunshine line this week. Um, I want to get to that this week, but other than that, I finished, I worked on everything else that I had planned for this week. I'm pretty proud of myself here. Alrighty. What are my plans for the upcoming week? Um, three of my four annual stitch alongs that I am planning to keep current on are started. So that's the Cross Stitcher 2018 um, stitch along from Cross Stitcher Magazine, the Another Year Creeps By by Stitchy Box and Ink Circles, and then Guardians of Notre Dame by Ingleside Imaginarium. You just saw all of them. I plan on working on them this week, and you'll see another update next week. Year of Starts. Okay, today is the monthly theme, which is New Year, New Start. So it's just a whatever new start I want. It's an electronic pattern, and I'm not going to be able to link to it because it was a kind of a flash sale that Pixel Power Designs did um, to see if there was interest, and it's the Christmas TARDIS. It's a TARDIS that's wrapped up in Christmas lights and a scarf, and it's just awesome. And when I saw it, I'm like, yes! But I am going to do that on 32 Joblin in Shimmering Azure from Under the Sea Fabrics. And my minder is a 10th Doctor Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies that I helped design. So 
So that's today's new start. This is one I'm also really excited about to go back to the earlier question. Then on the 9th is a Tuesday. That's my tour day designers piece, which is Glendon Place. I'm going to be starting Baked Alaska. And I am going to be doing this on 28 Joblin and Galis from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I think that'll pull out the colors nicely. And my minder is this big blingy blue snowflake from Gina's Unique Boutique. Then the 10th is my personal choice day, and it's also the release day of the Legendary Creatures Alphabet by Clouds Factory, so that's going to be my start for that day. I will put a link to um, it below. Of course, I don't know anything about it, but it looks like yet. But, you know, go big or go home, right? So I'm going to do this in 32 Belfast and Caloris from Under the Sea Fabrics. Because this looks like the sort of thing that Legendary Creatures would pop off on. And my minder is my Pegasus Needle Minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. That's going to be fun. I'm not changing out the colors this year, mainly because my stitchy room is in such a state of chaos right now that I can't spread out to do what I need to do. So that's okay. But this is my other stitch along that I'm going to stay current on, so you'll be seeing this a lot. On the 11th is my Princess Sal Day, Favorite Princess, Beauty and the Beast in Green by Tilton Crafts. And just like the one that I started this past week, I am going to do this on 32 Count White Jobelin, one over one full cross. And I have a little blingy bell needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Next is Friday. Um, on the 12th is Friday. Um, that's when I do my Halloween all year round stitch along. The theme this month is pumpkins. So I'm going to do Boof to You by Lizzie Kate. This is from the September, October 2012 Just Cross Stitch magazine. And I am doing that on a piece of uh, 32 count linen in Patriots Brew from R&R Reproductions that I got from a stitchy box. And my minder is a little um, witch needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then on Saturday the 13th is my 50 Nifty United States Day, home state of Texas. This is the uh, Hearts of America pamphlet 3, because that's the one that has Texas on it. And here it is right down here. There's Texas. So I'll start that. And I am going to just do it on a piece of 28 count white Joblin. And I have my Texans logo needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then my last new start for this week will be my Baker Santa from Sandra Cozzolino for the Christmas all year round Sal, the Santa theme. But by Sandra Cozzolino for Wilmer Crafts. And my minder is this little cute little needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. Only seven new starts this week. Only. Um, there aren't any other Mania one day or other kind of outlier styles this week. Um, I'll continue to work on my temperature stitch along. Uh, and my one stitch a day embroidery diary uh, heart drops. We'll see if I got a few more that I can do this week. All right, whips. Got a lot of whips again. Today on the 8th, I have three. The first one is Stitching ABCs by Design Works that I started in 2013. I'm not very far along on it. Here's where I was last time I worked on it. And my minder says, so many projects, so little time from minding my minders. Next 
will be my 2016 start, The Spirit of Oz Santa by Brooks Books. And here's where I am on the little guys at this point. I have a little bit more to do on Glinda. And then that may be it on this page, and then I can go and start the other page. Minder's little green Celtic needle minder from No Name Needle Minders. And then my third whip for today is, um, gotta reach for it. The Genoa Santa by Sandra Cozzolino from Mill Hill. And here's where I am on him at this point. Worked on his coverlet. My mine is just a little blingy. Needle miner from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then tomorrow I have two. The first one comes from Reader's Digest, The Big Book of Cross-Stitch Designs. And it's Antique Keys, which I am doing on 28 Joblin in Avalon from Under the Sea Fabrics, and I'm using DMC color 4260 for the keys. And then I have a key needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. pull these over so they're a little bit easier in reach. <laughs> like I said, I had piles and piles and piles over here. All right. And then the other one for the ninth is going to be Harp by Mill Hill. And here's where I am on it at this point. Then on the 10th, I have two scheduled. First is Fall Fairy from Dimensions Gold Collection that I started in 2013. Here. That's where I am on it now. And my needle minder is a little wingy tree needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then the other one was last year's new start, which was Electronic Pattern, The Fabulous Women in History by Clouds Factory. And I am doing this one on uh, 32 Belfast and Lichen's Moon from Under the Sea Fabrics using flosses and silks from Jottery Designs. And this is where I got to at this point. And you see I've added beads and made a few modifications, but I got stopped up after Cleopatra and Joan of Arc, so. And my minder is Well-Behaved Women Rarely Make History, from No Name Needle Minders. So I'll work a little bit more on this one. I do love how it turned out. I would love to try to get all of the um, other one-off women that she made, like J.K. Rowling and a few other people. Um, so they're all in one piece, but we'll see if that works or not. On the 11th, I only have one whip. It's a shocker. It's my um, Cirque de Circles from Ink Circles, which I am doing, come on, on 32 Joblin in Mermaid Sea from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I'm using this silk, Capital Silk from Mo Sale. That's what I'm using for all of it. And here is where I am on it at this point. And my minder's little artist palette needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. Then on the 12th, we'll start with St. Peter's by Heritage Crafts which I am doing on 28 count white even weave. And here's where I am on it at this point. And my minder is a little Roman Colosseum needle minder from Minding My Minders. And 
And the second one that I have for the 13th. is Winter Cottage from World of Cross Stitching issue number 196 and it's a full coverage piece it actually small but full coverage and I am doing this on 28 count white even weave you're not gonna be able to see much because right now it's white on white see there's there's stitches you can't see them my mind is a little penguin needle minder from my uh, nifty needle nannies you can see them a little bit that way White on white is not fun. I don't know of anyone who enjoys white on white. But it's a necessary evil. And then my third one on the 12th comes from the 2017 or 2015, excuse me, just cross stitch ornament issue. And it is Hope, which is this one right up here. And I am doing this on 32 Belfast in Irene from Under the Sea Fabrics. I have a little cross needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. Then on the 13th and 14th, I have four a piece each those days. So on the 13th, my first one is My Sweet Pea Fairy by Joan Elliott. And I am doing this on 28 Joblin in Fairy Dance from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Here is where I am on her at this point. Yes, I am doing her skin one over one. She's so pretty. And my minder is a little uh, cameo needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Then the next one is um, Apple Basket by Mill Hill. And here's where I'm on it at this point, working on the basket. Then also on the 13th, I have Joseph from Mill Hill, the Nativity Trilogy. And here is where I am on him at this point. Let's see a little bit better that way. Mine is just one of those little blingy dot needle miners from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then also on the 13th, I am doing Prairie Schoolers 12 Days of uh, Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. I'm doing the entire series on one piece, but I'm only on this pamphlet so far. And I am doing this on 32 Joblin in Chocolate Milk from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And here's where I am at this point. This is number one. And my minder's a little elf on the shelf needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then on the 14th, I also have four. The first one got buried down here get back to it it is from the fairy enchantment book by Joan Elliott it's the cover butterfly fairy and I am doing this on 28 Joblin in Lady of the Lake from hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie here's where she is at this point again yes doing skin one over one and my minder is a pretty blue butterfly needle minder from delicious threads Next is an electronic pattern. It is Harry's Foes from Wee Little Stitches. And I am doing this on 32 Joblin in Butterbeer from Under the Sea Fabrics. And here's my progress. And I have Maleficent as Slytherin Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then... That was the one I started when we found out Alan Rickman passed away. Then we have Santa's Slay, or from, sorry, from jo the 365 Cross Stitch Designs 2013 by Joan Elliott. It is Santa's Sleigh Ride. 
And I am doing this on 32 Opal Belfast in Winter Solstice from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Here we are. Don't have a lot done, but a little. And my minder is a little Rudolph Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then my last whip for this week. is Lemonade by Mill Hill. And here's where I am on it at this point. So yeah, that is my plan for the week. I'm also planning on um, doing my, uh, trying to get some more of those finishes worked on, or pieces I'm trying to finish worked on. Um, sorry, trying to get this in here. And uh, my gifts that I'm going to continue to work on. I do have some stash. Even though, yes, I am doing Stitch from Stash, I still have some subscriptions and things that I purchased before the end of the new, uh, end of 2017 that are coming in now. All right. First, um, it's Main Street series. This one is The Post Office by Country Cottage Needleworks. Then, for Frosted Pumpkins Stitch Along this year, I had to get the thread organizer. It's a really cool thread organizer. And the needle minder. Then, I do have a new Thread of the Month subscription this year. It's through Stitchy Box. Um, I started the subscription before the end of 2017 and it is the house of embroidery silks and you get four with each one. So this month we have bull rush, true blue, gold, and berries. There are three options for this stitch along. One is a cotton, one is the fine silk, which is what I get. And then the other is the raw silk. So, they're so pretty. And then the last thing I have is I finally got the November, December stitchy box. So I thought I'd go through it real quick. So let me get the, let's see here. The theme for the end of November, December, 2017 was the Northern Lights. I got, let's see. This is a piece of uh, 28 Count Lugana in Ariel from Picture This Plus. My favorite count and fabric to get from Picture This Plus. And I have Ariel that I'm using elsewhere. It's a great color. Then, let me get the ones that actually came with the series first. Here are the threads that came with it. We have a Dinky Dye Stitchy Box exclusive in Amateur Blue. It's a gorgeous blue color. We have two limited edition Gentle Arts threads. I'm not sure which is which. Um, I'd have to look it up. One is Winter Moon, which I'm assuming is this top one up here. And the other one is Snow Topped Pines, which is what I'm assuming is down here. Then there is uh, Needlepoint Silks, the Moonlight Pastel Range, color 87, 876. And then Planet Earth, Planet Earth Fiber Silk Ribbon in Heather. Then, let's see. The embellishments. There are some uh, Percosa Crystal Snowflakes. Pretty. And then in here, I'm not going to take it out right now. Um, there is a vintage cotton ribbon and the Percosal Crystal Banding, which will be cool to use. And then, yes, of course, I have the shipment add ons. Let's thread it out. We have. All sorts of pretty beads, which 
can you see in there? Can you see all sorts of pretty color beads? Probably not. It's hard to, or buttons, I mean. They're all very pretty blue, purples, turquoises, gorgeous colors. The Thread It Up add-on had Planet Earth Fiber and Autumn Glory. Classic Colorworks 12 Grain. This is Krennic Silk Mori in 0433. And then this is House of Embroidery, the Stranded Cotton in Privé. And then of course, my favorite, the Bling It Up. So we have size 11 delicate seed beads in copper line transparent cobalt, approximately one gram. Then we have a size 11 check seed beads in opaque mouse, it's a cool gray color. This is size 11 check seed beads in transparent mint rainbow. Sorry, the lighting's getting weird in here. This is size 11 delicate seed beads in nickel frosted dark purple. Then we have 12 millimeter twisted bugle beads in transparent gunmetal rainbow. Look at the reflection, that's cool. Very Northern Lights. These are the size 11 check seed beads in silver lined translucent light gray rainbow. Look like silver to me. <laughs> then we have a hand carved amethyst drop and a 10 millimeter Swarovski Bicon in crystal. Bicon. These are size 11 uh, Matsuno seed beads in frosted white rainbow. These are size 11 Toho seed beads in silver lined peridot. And then size 11 Delica seed beads in opaque galvanized light teal. Yay bling! So that is all I have for you guys this week. Um, don't forget if you are still interested in my Down Sunshine Lane Needle Miter giveaway, uh, details were in the video before this one. Um, that's still going until the last video of this month. Um, other than that, I think that's all I've got. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!